Unboxing videos, unboxing videos, da, 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 let's begin. And here we are at part seven. We got a big one here today. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Oh boy. <laughs> mm. Wow, what a mystery. Uh -huh. So, a box within a package. Uh-oh. Hmm. Let's see here. It looks like these are a bunch of Sony beta tapes. These look pretty uh, pristine and you know they've even got labels on them I mean blank labels <laughs> let's see what the label what the uh, spine labels say what's written on the spine cross fire channel 7 hmm I'm not sure what this is. It's a mystery. Okay, that's one. And two. So this one says Fallon Suture. I, I don't know what that says. If you think you've got a clue, uh, let me know in the comments. Deep Dish ca Cafe or something. Something looks like it might say censorship. Hmm. Four. Hmm. Let's see. Nature of Things Steroids. Steroids? Cause the uh, bunch of gobbledygook. It is good that these, uh, you know, have stuff written on them, though. Mm -hmm. Pops, uh, Boston Pops, Tony Bennett, Winds of Change, Part One. Ah, here we go. Ben Stiller, 92792, and In Living Color, and Rock. Now, this appears to be two blocks from uh, Fox in uh, the fall of uh, 
92. Yeah, because Ben Stiller had his own sketch comedy show on Fox, and it was really, uh, it had a lot of talented people in it. It's one of those one-season wonders, like the Dana Carvey show. Yeah, it's it's totally worth looking up. Ooh. Huh. Okay. Let's see, I think this is six. No, no, that was six. This is seven. Bill and Coo and Little Shop of Horrors. Now, this might be the original black and white version uh, from 1960, and Bill and Coo uh, is actually a movie with uh, parrots, uh, you know, live birds with uh, human voices dubbed in. I think, uh, you know, this is, you know, really, it's it's the right kind of camp, I think. And it would be used many years later in uh, movies like The Incredible Journey and uh, Milo and Otis and Cats and Dogs. <laughs> Okay, that is now eight. Hmm. Black Adder three. CH21, must be channel 21. Surfelli Xmas. Hmm. I'm really glad. It, it looks like these have been very well kept. It doesn't look like there's any mold. Now, hmm. Okay. More of uh, Ben Stiller in Living Color and Rock. This uh, could be really valuable, especially if it has commercials. Because, uh, yeah, original airings are more likely to have uh, music that was, uh, you know, had to be re has to be replaced in reruns. However, um, looks like some of these labels have, uh, have detached. So I'm going to see uh, which ones are which uh, later on. Ooh. Now this looks really good. This is a uh, certain show with a certain theme that goes like doom, 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 doom. <laughs> it says 11, 7, 92, uh, 11 something, 92. Now, I wonder if this is from uh, CBS uh, or from Comedy Central. I'll have to check that out later. <laughs> this one's rewound all the way to the end. <laughs> and, yeah, this is one of the labels that fell off <laughs> yeah um now now these labels that fell off say 1795 oh my goodness i hope i'm i'm on the hunt for like the last episode the series finale as it was shown on cbs in the united states because the cbs version has the home run sketch where uh, you know, Dave Foley actually says Cancer Boy because CBS allowed it. But, uh, you know, when it aired in Canada, um, you know, CBC didn't allow Cancer Boy. So they changed it to That Dying Kid. So, um, yeah, that was like one of the many uh, variants of the show, like, between the U.S. and Canada. Anyway, huh? Biography. Rita Hayworth. A&E. Oh, this is pr Gilda Live. That, that's probably Gilda Radner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Pops, McCartney, Channel 13, and George Harrison. <sighs> I'm always interested in anything Beatles related, except for, you know, just a few exceptions like uh, Across the Universe, that dumbass jukebox musical. Uh, Audubon, Parent Lakes. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> ah, kids in the Hall, 9, 18, 92, and f uh, 9, 25, 92. Yeah, I'm guessing, uh, you know, probably CBS. Twelve four ninety two and twelve eighteen ninety two. Yeah, that that pretty much checks out. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, hmm. twelve twenty one ninety two, one two ninety three three nine ninety three. Uh huh. Now I don't know whether the show aired daily, or maybe I don't know. Maybe it's from HBO. Um. Because, as far as I know, they were still showing it on HBO, uh, probably into 93. <laughs> Kids in the Hall, 123092. And it also says Feature Kids? Is that like the controversial Harmony Korine movie? I don't know. <sighs> ah, Wind in the Willows! That's awesome! I was hoping to get this one. <clears throat> Welk. Lawrence Welk, probably. Hawaii. Kurt Bromner. Skater. Skating. I don't know what that says. <laughs> hmm. Weak. Welk, oh, gone, Pana. uh, drama, classics, James Cagney, uh, Topper, black and white, Ghost Rider. I wonder if that is the, uh, CTW slash PBS show, Ghost Rider. I'll find out later. <laughs> okay, Pops. Bernstein Championship Skating <laughs> Okay, uh, another mystery one <laughs> hmm. Welk Variations Pops Benny uh, Drama Classics TV uh, blah, blah, blah. Huh? And finally, Welk and TCC Chicago Pops Worcester and Getz Ravel Sheesh. This is a mystery that I am going to solve at a later date. But uh, the, the rest of the labels say um, Far East Cooking, Japan and Indonesia, Kids in the Hall, 116.93 and 123.93. And hmm. Kids in the Hall, one, oh, I already looked at that, 17.95. Oh, Tales from the Crypt. And 2CX. I don't know what numbering system that is. But, uh, yeah, I find stuff like this exciting. And I hope you do, too. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.